Worse was to come at Calcutta, where huge crowds attended. They relished the contest and they hoped that the Australians, unbeaten in five previous games at Eden Gardens, may again prove vulnerable. Charging in for the memorable opening over of the game, Srinath had Slater caught in close before Yorking blew it very first ball. The commotion was amazing. And got in! Across the line, the Yorker... Four key wickets went down for just 29 in the first 10 overs. A disastrous start from which the Australians never recovered. Mark Waugh avoided the Srinath hat-trick with a deft flick off his pads for four. A signature shot for the junior before becoming Srinath's third victim to the delight of more than 60,000 who had packed the massive ground despite school exams, which somehow had been scheduled for the same day. Local hero Sarev Gunguli also seemed inspired, making Taylor look silly before finally he induced an edge through to the jubilant Mongia. Steve Waugh and Ponting provided some resistance with a century stand in two and a half hours, but after Ponting was bowled, trying to pull Kumble's straight skitter, and Waugh ripped a groin in mid-innings and had to call for a runner, the Australians were bowled out for 233 right on stumps, their own poor form rather than anything in the wicket to blame. Things didn't get any better either with the Indians sailing into the Australian bowling. Openers VVS Laxman and Sidhu starting with 191 before Dravid and Tendulkar continued the thrashing, adding 140 for the third wicket. Michael Kastrovich tried hard against the odds, but Warren was again collared, going for almost four and over. There was a brief hope for the Aussies when Laxman and Sidhu both fell in their 90s just before tea, but Tendulkar's even time 79 was sheer magic. Six fours flowing in two overs against Kasprovich in true stand and deliver fashion. This time he's played it off the pads. It's going to be four. The humiliation became total on day three, with Ezra Dean continuing his run of tall scores at the ground, going on to 163 not out, and India 633 for five before the declaration, which again came in the final session and immediately brought the wicket of Slater out cheaply for the fourth time in a row. For Mark Taylor, normally the most affable of souls, it had been the ultimate downer. His patched up side was staggering, and within hours on day four, had fallen over completely, the massacre being completed shortly after tea with the Aussies all out 181. India's innings and 219 run victory gave them the series 2-0 and exposed the Aussies as a weary, patched up team which frankly didn't even want to be there.